time and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swoosh and I'm reviewing Apple. Apple was a really super duper nice day trade today. Um, it was the play of the day in the day trading room, number one. And number two, I also called an option in it. So we're going to talk about two separate, totally and completely separate things right now. Okay. Actually, let me take this off. No, I don't have it off. Okay. All right. Let's talk about the day trade. So the day trade today, go back here. Actually, I'm going to squish it. The day trade today set up really exactly the way that it needed to, which I did discuss in the room. I said this has to hold immediately, and it did. So, anyways, called this in here, ran up. Some people got out here, and if you didn't get out here, it ended up paying off. It ran straight up like a rocket. Actually, originally I had said 215 was a dream target. It almost got to that, almost got to that here. And then if anybody held it, I mean, you obviously would be out. Anyways, it did get to that and it did go slightly above that. In fact, the high of the day was 215.30. I don't, I don't think there would have made any sense holding this past this area here, given the move from my call was a fantastic call, fantastic. To get something in here and get it to the dream target was amazing. So great day trade in this today. Everybody made money in that in the room. Now, then I called an option in it. And I called the 210 calls, okay, which if you did in the morning, you took it anywhere, anywhere in the morning, you'd be up. And again, as you see, it ran $5 plus through the strike. So 210 strike went up to 21531. This is a big move and a huge move and everybody would have been up. So whether you were up 92% return investment, 100% return investment, 78% return investment, depending where you got filled, this was a big move that happened immediately out of the gate, okay? Now, long story short, the market had FOMC minutes today at two o'clock. Let's just find exactly two. Actually, this is to 2.15, 2.30. The market collapsed at pretty much 3.15 reversal time and never looked back. The market did and thus everything with it. Actually, let me just look at after hours. We're down. Yeah, this is after hours. So yeah, we're down here a lot. So we completely flipped today, which which anything can happen like this on an FLMC. And the reason that I'm bringing this up is anyone that would trade something like Apple, whether you did the day trade, whether you did the option, you have to take, if not your full profit into that move up, at least 50% of your profit into that move up because of the fact that it had such a big move. Now, I'm not saying that you would have necessarily got out at 215.30 anywhere near the high. Like I said, that my expectation was 215 the dream target, which it hit. And then it looked like it could even get some more steam under it, even in this period here. But then it failed to do it. And at some point, you have to book the money. So the lesson for today, for anyone that went long Apple today, which was the only trade to do, by the way, you would not have shorted this. This was a long. With the market collapse, this fell as well. I, will, I mean, I don't even know where the market does tomorrow. It's way too early to say. But I'm just saying, when you're up this much money, this quick, this fast, I don't care how you did it, swing trade, day trade, option, you must get out of the whole trade or at least 50% of the trade. I mean, you have to have something called, you know, common sense. And this was such a big move, so fast. Again, if you didn't want to get out of the whole thing, I totally get it, but you have to at least book some of the money. And so if anyone did any trade in Apple today, day trade or option, and did not book any of the profits, well, guess what? This, like I said, is down here now from the, from the fall, from what happened after the FMC minutes and with the market as well. I don't know where this heads tomorrow. We'll just see how much strength Apple has in it. Again, the earnings were last night, but I'm telling you, you know, besides the strategy itself, which is what I teach in the class, you also have something called money management where you can't let a lot of money go against you. And I'm just gonna play devil's advocate here 
I'm just gonna make it so crazy that you understand what I'm saying. Let's just say, let's just say you were up into this rally, and, I, and I'm just doing this just to prove a point. Let's say you were at $1 million here. Would you not have gotten out of any of that $1 million and let all the $1 million go away? I mean, this is, I'm, I'm trying to prove a point here of exasperating the, the examples, but many, 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 many people forget that trading and success in trading is also has to do with booking the money. You know, it's never over to the fat lady sings. Any great trade, even if you're up $1 million, doesn't mean it's going to go to $2 million. Does that make sense? And again, this isn't the fact that you had to exit all the trade, whether day, swing, or option, but you need to book some of the money, something, anything, some of it, or you could have booked the whole thing. I think so many people were so, so surprised that Apple did go to the dream target today, which I gave the room, which was 215. So many people were surprised that they even got anywhere near it, that they all got out. But I think like one or two people had emailed me that did not. And, you know, I don't know where this goes tomorrow. So you have to book money when you're up. You must, must do it. Again, this is lesson number one and common sense. Have a great night, everyone. I will see you all tomorrow.